everyone, welcome from the Jurong East Stadium for this AIA Singapore Premier League match between Tanjong Paga United and the Young Lions. My name is Amar Akhtar. I'm delighted to have alongside me in the commentary position Hidir Hamis, former coach of Balistir Khalsa. This match typically produces a lot of goals. Let's have a look at the starting 11. The Young Lions, you were mentioning plenty of changes. Uh, we've got five changes, in fact. Yeah. In terms of performance, if you look at how they played against uh, Lao, they should have uh, won the game. And I think that was the game that caused that qualification. Oh, oh. it's a goal! Goodness me, against the run of play. Oh, has the flag gone up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the flag has <laughs> gone up. For a second uh, there, we <laughs> thought that might have been the opening goal of this contest. Thankfully for them, nothing came of it. And here is a chance. But, uh, oh my goodness, pushed wide. That was a golden opportunity for Ryo Nishiguchi. You'd expect nine times out of ten, or even <laughs> ten times out of ten, for him to put that beyond the keeper. But, goodness me, could that be a chance that Tanjung Paga will be ruining? Oh, Here's an good attempt. shot. Yeah, that was uh, Nishiguchi. Wouldn't attempt, finally getting one on target. That's more like it from Tanjung Paga. So this is the ball that we are looking for all the time. From Mirko to Rio. Mirko to Rio. You see, again, it's a good chance. Yeah. Tanjung Paga, especially this guy right here, trying to muscle his way through. Looking to step inside his marker, but here's Mirko Shugic now with an opportunity. To Kairul Nizam for Ryo Nishiguchi, and it's the first goal of the evening. We were talking about how Nishiguchi has not managed to convert by his lofty standards, but on this occasion, he made no mistake. Yeah, definitely. I think it was a good uh, interchange of play. The moment you see the ball, the ball went up. It was 3v3. Now it's here. It's 2v2. Good opening up of your body. I think Shabil could have done a little bit better in terms of putting his body on the line to block the shot, but again, good finish. It's going to be a fascinating second half, but how uh, Young Lions is going to manage the lines again. Yeah, absolutely. There's another chance for Blake Rusciuto. Wow, that was an absolute tracer bullet. In fact, they've won their last two matches against the Eagles, so uh, that <laughs> you should fancy your chances. Yeah. Sh certainly should hold them in good stead. Here Here's a chance it. for Rashuto, oh. and it's gone in. That's the second goal for Tanjung Paga, and it's Kairul Nizam, it seems. Or is it Faritz? Yeah, it's Faritz. It's Faritz, I beg your pardon. There was a bit of a melee in there, and we weren't quite sure who got on the end of that, but uh, it's Faritz Abdul Hamid. The Jaguars skipper. A, a good delivery from Raihan to the far post. And again, it's to Blake. And you know what he's going to do. He's going to play the ball back into the six yard area. Doesn't matter whether we, with his feet or with his head. And today is with his feet. And you have Faris running through. I mean, you can't miss from there. This ball in from right hand side. An attempt by. Who was that? I think that was Carl Amri. Yeah, yeah. Pushed away by Ridwan Fikri. And there you have it, the final whistle blown by Abi Rami Naidu here at the Jurong East Stadium. It's been uh, a wonderful second 45 minutes. And ultimately, it's Tanjung Paga who prevail by two goals to nil.